Hello YouTubers, welcome to another episode. For those of you new to the channel, this is the Yambulance. I'm Cameron Buckin and I do some rowing. Today, in this episode, we're going to go down south currently at Strathclyde Park in Scotland. We're going down south to Nottingham to do a GB Start program camp along with some training as well with the guys in the GB Start program. So hopefully you enjoy this episode. We're gonna get into the ambulance, freshen up a little bit, and then travel down south. So probably see you on the way there. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot my toothbrush. Let's go. to home pier point the home of the national water sports center here in nottingham for the start camp so for those of you that don't know there's the gb start program and i'm not part of the start program but i train with the guys up at the strathclyde park start program so i'm down here as a guest to take part in the in the, in the camp here in nottingham and at the camp you do a multitude of different things depending on your group from E to A including skills and drills on the water including pieces on the water including core testing off the water and different things like that to assess you as an athlete overall to see how you can progress and hopefully eventually perform at the Olympic Games so we've done a little bit of core testing We've got the Lamborghini, name yet to be determined, rigged up. And we have a reasonably lovely day. A little bit of rain, but it's keeping the water nice and flat. And then we've got pieces tomorrow. So after a little bit of a paddle tonight, just to get the legs moving after a lovely drive down in the ambulance, we get to get on the water and fingers crossed it stays this flat for the pieces because it's going to be quite interesting. So I've done pieces before. If you've watched the videos previously, I've done a, a start camp before, and we did the pieces, and the, basically the same people that did those pieces are doing the pieces tomorrow, or whenever they are this week. So it's a good chance to compare how I've been improving in the single over the past, say, few months, and then see, fingers crossed, it is an improvement. But now, hopefully, stretch the legs, and a little bit of relaxation. down. Now we go down that way. Side by side. Increase the rate.
finished the pieces here on the start cap. So the water piece is 1500 meters out, 1500 meters back, and depending on what group you're in, depends what rate you get to do the pieces at. So the pieces for me, as you saw, really went off hard in that first 1500 with the rate cap of 30. Was quite happy how I did that first 1500. And then the second one, as you saw, a little bit of side by side action, be able to see your performance, your speed changes versus the boats around you, came down and an awesome opportunity to really push ourselves all the way down the track. Alex, on in the camera, I think maybe on your right, but on my left, really sent it home in that last sort of 300-ish. And Cam pushing the first sort of K as well, really couldn't let off the gas, which is a really good opportunity to test myself here before up and coming races which hopefully I'll be able to tell you about soon once I know more details about them. Absolutely fantastic. So now the GB start camp is almost finished. There's a couple of more on the land tests and there's more on the water training, but basically that's the majority of the tests is done. We did them really early or relatively early in the morning today so that we would avoid the bad weather. And then yesterday was the sort of on the water skills and the core testing. So things like standing 360s, so you get up out of your single, you do a 360, sit back down. Things like rigger dips, things like roll-ups, driving, just things that sh you should be able to do. And also if you can't do them, practicing those drills increases your confidence so that just you can be that bit more relaxed and you can actually be able to focus on the finer points. But depending on your group, depends on the skills. So... Usually they are the opposite way around. You do the pieces first and then the water skills. But again, since the weather was a bit changeable, we managed to get some good water this morning. Good water yesterday. And now it's on to potentially some land pieces. But after those, it's a little bit of a land training camp here at... Not, uh, not land training camp. Water training camp. So hopefully we do get some nice water throughout the next few days because it is supposed to be very windy, thunderstormy, rainy, so the water could chop up, but fingers crossed it doesn't too much. But that will be it for today's episode, Yam Squad. Something a little bit different, the GB Start Program down here in Nottingham, or the GB Program Start Camp here, down at home, Pierpoint. It's been really enjoyable. Unfortunately, not everyone that usually is here was here today, or yesterday, so I could sort of test, but there were guys here that had been at camps previously that I've been at, so I could obviously compare my speed and see how I have improved, and the results aren't out yet, so I can't tell you if I have improved, but it felt like I did. I felt like I was really able to commit to the pieces and know what I, how I was feeling during the pieces, because for those of you that have watched the videos previously, especially the videos involving the races involving time trials, I've kind of struggled with the effort in a time trial and the how I can really push myself without people around me. So today it felt like I I did well in the time trial. So that first fifteen hundred, just you're by yourself and you're going as fast as you can, and then obviously backed up a little bit by the side by side racing where. You can really say, okay, if that person's moving, I have to go faster. If that person's slowing down, I can kind of hold them there or push away. It's kind of how you want to race. But let me know in the comments below what you thought of today's video. A little bit of a change, like I said. Not only is it in a different location, but also trying little sort of editing differences. Making it a little bit different. A little bit more varied. Because remember, variation is one of the keys to motivation. Now it's time for some food. Because remember, food is fuel after some pieces. I need to fuel up regardless if we've done pieces or if we've done a paddle or just even just some other form of something. And as always, remember to subscribe if you haven't already hit that like button. And I will see you in the next episode.